Hey YouTube, uh, this is Prepper Bear again. Uh, it's been a while since I put up a video on the Prepper Bear channel. Today I wanted to talk about uh, something that I did to my uh, new uh, Yezu uh, VX8DR. Uh, this is a new radio for me. It's a great radio so far. I'm really learning how to operate uh, this, this handheld radio that pretty much does everything. Um, surprisingly, uh, the amount of things that it does in uh, uh, a, a very small package like this. One of the things that I read about that I wanted to do because I was concerned about the transmission of certain frequencies, especially for FR, FRS and GMRS frequencies. This uh, ha is a triple band and I won't go into the, the specifics of this, but I wanted to show you how I did the uh, the little modification in order to to get this uh, this great radio to uh, transmit in the FRS and GMRS bands. Been a lot of different videos on it. Uh, I thought I'd make my own very quick video show you how I did it with a, a pair of cuticle uh, cutters. So uh, let me show you how that's done, and then we'll wrap it up. This is a fairly short uh, video. The first thing you have to do in order to get to the uh, the little area is a is to take the battery off, and sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain in the drain to get this this battery off. It's uh, pretty tight. You sort of click it down there. There it is. Okay, now I've removed the uh, the the actual waterproof seal on the back. It's sort of like a sticky uh, sticky seal that's on the back of this radio. Um, but I'm going to show you how, uh, at, while I did it, actually doing the modification. So you get to it, and you need to get to this. Now this this actually shows it after I've done it, but I do have footage of me actually doing it. So you got to get to this point and get underneath here, and you can see the little resistor. It's it's the only little resistor. I think it's a resistor that's showing up. It's pretty small. Uh, you can see the size of it compared to a. Uh, a pen. So let me show you how I did it. Okay, here I am taking a look at the uh, the radio itself. These are the cuticle scissors that I stole from my wife's area. Figured they'd be small enough to grab this thing because a previous guy had said that he had used a pair of tweezers. I figured I could just cut this uh, this resistor out. So we'll take a look. Trying to figure out the best way to do it. There it is. I got my headlamp on, so I'm trying to see in my uh, extra heavy duty magnifiers. Finally decide I can get a good grip on it. Okay. There it is. Finally, <clears throat> decide to go ahead and do it. Uh, let's see. There we go. All right. I'm going to just grab this sucker and just cut it. And that's what I did. Sorry about the finger in the way. Just grabbed it and sort of rocked it off. And it really came out. There, there it is right there. It's pretty damn small. Barely see it. Seems to be okay, and the uh, the little solder tabs seem to have cut off clearly and broke off, almost like it was designed to do that. I'm trying to zoom in here, give you a little bit of the view of what is left there. See how far the camera can go in. Yeah, pretty far. There it is. Whoops, out of focus. Well, back there it is, right there. So. That's it, um, and uh, you can see how small it is. Okay, folks, uh, I went ahead and, uh, as I showed you, the resistor's out, the battery's back in, and I have this set on uh, uh, 462725. <clears throat> That's the GMRS uh, channel 8 frequency. Before it was only uh, receiving on it, but I have my uh, Baofeng uh, radio set up across the room. 
uh, on that channel and uh, now I should be able to transmit and I'll probably get a squelchy sound because of uh, the proximity of this radio but yep and it's actually transmitting on that frequency so now uh, uh, you know what is said is true that uh, if you take that little resistor out you can uh, hit all of the FRS uh, and GMRS frequencies. There's some other ones for uh, CAP and MARS. I'm not really interested. I don't use that in my business, but uh, this is very important to me to make sure that I can I can hit the GMRS uh, frequency. So uh, hopefully this has helped you. And uh, um, if you have any questions about what I did, go ahead and leave me a, a comment and I'll get back with you. So take care.